sexual. Look out, Zoe! Look out, Zoe! <laughs> Strawberry Bell! Full power! Everything's cool again. Not everything. <laughs> Mark! How long have you been standing there? Long enough. I really didn't think you were that kind of girl. <laughs> I mean, just look at you. But, Mark, I can explain. You have a tail. Yes, but... And big fuzzy cat ears. True, but... I thought you were a normal girl. But I am, Mark. No, you're not. You're just a freak. No, Mark, wait. You don't understand. I am a normal girl. It's just that I'm also a... I'm a Mew Mew. <gasps> Uh-oh. Algebra class? How did I get here? Thank you for clearing that up, Zoe. I'm sure the class feels much better knowing that you're a Mew Mew, was it? How embarrassing. Falling in love You must be mortified, Zoe. What do you mean? Everyone falls asleep in class sometimes. But not everyone shouts things like, Mew Mew, power in your face. That was what she said, wasn't it? That's exactly what she said. Oh, I hope I didn't let the cat out of the bag. Wait, that was stupid. This is no time for jokes. Mew Mew to the rescue! <laughs> <laughs> I hope she doesn't attack me. <laughs> I wish I had dreams like that. The feeling is mutual. What a nightmare. Everybody's talking about me. Now they just think I'm weird. Wait till they find out the truth. Zoe, are you okay? Did I just say that out loud? Me? Oh, yeah. I'm fine. Couldn't be better. Why do you ask? You just put mustard on your pizza. Oh, that's just the way I like it. It's good. You should try it. She's a freak. Mm -hmm. No, I'm really not. Yeah, you are. I'm totally normal. Whatever you say. Later, freak. See you tomorrow, Zoe. Okay, see you guys later. Well, at least I know those guys are only kidding. If they knew the truth about me and the rest of the muse, they really would think I was a freak. Oh, I just hope Mark doesn't find out. Hey, Zoe. Ah! Is everything okay? Hi, Mark. Yeah, I'm, uh, hello. I'm just about to head home. And I was wondering... Oh, really? Me too. Yeah? Well, I was wondering if you don't think it's too weird. Yes, Mark? Want to take a walk to the park with me? I mean, unless you have something else to do. What else could I possibly have to do? It's not like I'd be battling monsters or something. <laughs> well, all right. Uh, then why don't we get going? Come on over here. I want to show you something. We're almost there. Don't worry. That's okay. I'm not worried. Okay, maybe I am a little worried. I mean, where are we going? Wait a minute. You don't think maybe he's going to try and kiss me? Oh, no. I'm nervous. It's gonna happen. I know it is. It always does. I've got to try and think of something else. Maybe it won't happen this time. Maybe I won't turn into a cat. <gasps> okay. We're here. Uh, Zoe, are you okay? Everything's fine. I just dropped something. <laughs> Don't worry about me. <laughs> okay, sorry about that. Now, where were we? Huh? Wow. That's beautiful. Yeah. Isn't it amazing? But why is it blooming already? It isn't even spring yet. I don't know. But guess what? This tree is over a hundred years old. 
I know because it was under this tree that my great-grandfather proposed to my great-grandmother. They were both immigrants to this city, and they always said it reminded them of their lives growing up in the country. They dreamed that their family would blossom here, just like this tree. Oh, that's a really great story. Thanks. But you're right, it sure is weird that it bloomed this early. Hey, Mark, does that tree make you feel like asking me anything? Know what I mean? Sorry, what did you say? Oh, nothing. Hey, can I ask you something? Uh... I guess so. You're not gonna propose to me, are you? <laughs> nah. Phew. My grandfather says that no two trees are exactly alike, just like people. And the best thing you can be is an individual. Do you think that's really true? I mean, about being unique? Well, yeah, I guess. I mean, what is it they say? Dare to be different. <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to get all serious on you. It's just a tree. It's a tree that means a lot to you. <laughs> hey, I think I'm gonna do my project for the science fair on how this old tree is blooming so early. Yeah? Good idea. I'd really like it if you'd be my partner. <laughs> Excuse me. Yes, ma'am. Can somebody take my order? Just a minute. So is anything wrong? You're acting weirder than usual. <laughs> what are you talking about, Kiki? I don't have a crush Hello? on anybody. I'd like yes, to order. Be I right didn't say there. anything about a crush. Whatever it is, it's affecting her work. She came in late for her shift, and now all her tables are complaining. I mean, really. Yeah, there's nothing more annoying than when someone doesn't pull their own weight. <laughs> uh, Bridget. You weren't referring to me with that remark by any chance, were you? I didn't mean it. I swear I'll never say anything about you and how you never do any work don't again. Don't forget, folks, tipping is generally 20%. Hey, where are you going with our drink? Sorry. Yes, ma'am. Right away. I'm trying to do my job. That's another thing. You Excuse me, girls. My shift oh. Allow me huh? to present the latest addition to the Mew Mew crew. Renee! Oh. Wesley, I can't believe you're going to make Renee Roberts work at Cafe Mew Mew. All right, Renee. For starters, I'd like you to take this apple tart to table 11 for me, please. Sure. Hey, Bridget, I wonder how a famous teen pop star like Renee is going to adjust to waiting tables at Cafe Mew Mew. Well, for one thing, that's not table 11. Huh? Oh, I didn't order this. What do you want me to do about uh, it? Nothing. Didn't think so. Um... Maybe she works better off of a script. I suppose in my spare time, I could jot down a few key waitress phrases for her to rehearse before she comes to work every day. Oh, right. I'm sure she's going to rehearse for her big role at Cafe Mew Mew. Hey, maybe I could rehearse for my next day with Mark. Oh, what a day. I can't believe it's finally over. Great job today, ladies. Uh huh? And now it's time for a little celebration. Wow. Oh, cool. mm, how cute. It's the five of us in little animal form. In edible candy animal form. All right, Mew Mews, I huh? need everyone down in the lair right away. <laughs> Don't be such a party pooper. We're having a celebration. Right. Zoe, do you even know what it is you're celebrating? Yes, we just finished our first day of work together. Your work together hasn't even started. But if my hunch is correct, it will soon. <laughs> Perfect. It's already started. Ah, by tomorrow morning, this planet will belong to the Cineclons. What's this hunch all about? Nothing. Huh? I just said that so I could get you down here faster. Hey, that wasn't very nice. Yeah, we have cake to eat. And I have ballet class. Calm down. That doesn't mean this isn't an important meeting. I have a lot to explain to you now that you're all together. OK. We're all together. As far as we can tell, the Cineclons have no planet of their own, probably because they used up all its natural resources. Either way, they see Earth as a good alternative, and they're sending alien spirit beings called Infusers to try and destroy us. Those jerks. So how do we fit into all this? Well, since all of you have been infused, you're uniquely qualified to battle whatever the Cineclons throw at us. That could be almost anything, from mutant monsters to poisonous plants. We're supposed to stop a mutant monster? You already have what it takes. Let's go over it again. Wesley? Renee, the Grey Wolf. Kiki, the Tamarind Lion Monkey. 
Bridget, the black finless porpoise, Corina, the rare blue lorikeet, and of course your leader, Zoe, the wild mountain cat. You will draw power from the endangered animals you've been bonded with, but make no mistake, your strength lies in your ability to work as a team. Based on the intelligence we've gathered, I want you all to be on high alert over the next um, few days. I have a question. How are we supposed to balance schoolwork with battling aliens? The fate of the whole world is at stake. I'm sure you'll figure it out. Huh. Anyway, you'll be working at Cafe Mew Mew every day so that you can be ready Hello? for- Hello? Hello? I have a question over here, Ellie. Very funny. The name is Elliot. What do you want, Zoe? I understand the whole fate of the world thing, and I'm sort of okay with that, but how long do you expect us to go on like this? Huh? Do you have any idea what it's like to be standing at your locker at school and have your ears pop out just because you saw a certain somebody? And then, as if that's not bad enough, your tail pops out, and somehow you gotta try and hide it from everybody? If I were you, I'd just be happy I had superpowers. I am, but I feel like a freak. You'll get used to it. I don't want to be a freak. Well, you don't really have a choice. So, why don't we all have some cake? No thanks. I don't feel like celebrating. All I really want is to be a normal girl. Don't you want to be a Mew Mew? Kiki, sorry. She's got a crush on somebody. <laughs> no, really, that's not it. Hey, look. If there's one thing I know, it's when somebody's acting all goofy because they're in love. Just don't get too carried away, or you'll really know the meaning of the word crush. Wow. That's cool. It is? Do you realize what's just happened here? You've just been given advice from an expert in the field of romance. Do you have any idea how many boyfriends she's probably had? Well, how old do you think she was when she started That's dating? That's not the point. Look, everyone, I'm a lion, the king not of the jungle. jungle. You're a monkey. <laughs> I thought he said I was a lion. He said you're a golden tamarind lion monkey. Even better, I've always thought of myself as more of a monkey Ugh, anyway. Where did she come from? I just had a horrible dream, Minnie Mew. The Cineclons were invading Earth, but I couldn't find Mark anywhere. Woohoo! Mew Mew's to the rescue! I can't believe I have to go into battle just when Mark finally asked me out. Huh? Hey, wait a minute. What am I saying? He didn't ask me out. He just asked me to be his science project partner. Maybe he doesn't even really like like me. Nah, he must like me. He took me to the park. But wait till he finds out I'm a Mew Mew. Oh, I'm so stressed out, Minnie Mew. Ah, my ears! Zoe? Zoe, what's going Dad, on? No! What happened? Go away! Don't come in here! Why are you in the closet? I'm okay! Really? Bye, Mom! Bye, Dad! My neck is still sore from the injury I sustained opening her closet door last night. Well, that's what you get for barging into your teenage daughter's room. What have you got, Wesley? Take a look at this. It doesn't look good. Oxygen levels throughout the city are falling at a rate of 6% each hour. Wow. If this keeps up, the whole city will suffocate. By midnight tonight, to be exact, the pollution seems to be concentrated around five old cherry trees, one in each of the city parks. Looks like the work of Dren, if you ask me. You think he infused the trees? Exactly. He must have genetically altered them to produce a poison. We have no choice. The Mew Mews must destroy the trees. Right. Girls, tell the customers we're closing in five minutes. Huh? There's a broken pipe in the basement. Huh? And health code violation. Wait a minute. It's time? Yes, it's time. Okay, girls, the moment of truth is upon us. Uh, what exactly does that mean? It means it's time for Team Mew Mew to kick some butt. Cool. The Cineclon warrior, Dren, has genetically altered five of the city's oldest trees, causing them to emit some type of poisonous gas. We have until midnight before the entire city's population is asphyxiated. That's bad, right? Extremely. We're going to have to act quickly. The trees have been infused for almost two days now. And here's the catch. The trees have to be destroyed at exactly the same time or we risk an explosion. Excuse me, I can't huh? destroy a hundred year old tree. I have principles, you know. Trees are special and unique, like people. True, but this is a sacrifice we have to make for the greater good of the city. Trees are unique and special like people. I like that. 
Okay, Mew Mews, protect our planet. Mew Mew Fusion. Mew Mew Fate. Super Nature. Activate. Power Cannon. Unimorphosis. That should be enough to test. Hmm? That's funny. I'm feeling a little lightheaded. And what's that smell? It's too late huh? to save it, Romeo. Who said that? Huh? Who's there? Your precious tree is poisoning the city. Observe. What's happening? What's happening is that you're going to sleep. Along with the rest of planet Earth. <sighs> oh no, Tren! What are you doing here? Zoe? Take my advice and get out of my way! You should have been here earlier. Your Romeo and I had a nice chat before he passed out. You better not have done anything to hurt Mark or I'm gonna mutilate you! Now are you gonna move or am I gonna have to destroy you along with that tree? I'm afraid it's not that simple, but if you're lucky there might be a way to save yourself. I bet I could convince the Cineclons to accept you into our world if you agree to be my bride. What do you say? Uh, whoa, that was a close one. Miss me? Uh. Too bad. I think we would have made a nice couple. Uh, think again, creep. Well, kitty cat, I stalled you just long enough for the trees to reach their maximum poison power. Ready to reconsider? You do realize that if your little animal friends destroy only four of the five infused trees, the resulting explosion will send the entire city's population soaring into the stratosphere. It's sort of a win-win situation for the Cineclons. Come to think of it, I should probably get out of here soon. What is Zoe waiting for? What's the matter, Zoe? Have a change of heart? I'm sorry, Mark. No, come on, Zoe! How long do you expect me to keep this up? Come on, Zoe! It must be done. Elliot, oxygen levels are rising. I think it worked. The girls did it. <sighs> that was a close one. I must say I was a little worried. How about you, Elliot? Did you ever doubt the girls would come through for us? No way. You later, huh? kitty cat. I guess we did it. The air seems better already. The tree. I'm so sorry, Mark. Zoe? Uh, what happened to you? Why do you look like that? Uh, oh no. Mm. I'm sorry, Mark. It's okay. It is? You shouldn't be ashamed of who you are. Remember what you said earlier? Dare to be different? I'm different, all right. And I think it's cool. <sighs> Next time on the Mew News, we 
go back to the beginning. Yeah! Find out how I went from a normal girl. I think I'm turning into a cat. Well, sort of. To Super Mew Mew, bravely battling the forces of evil. It's really quite amusing. <laughs> Sorry, couldn't resist. Anyway, see you next time on the Mew Mews.